A nuclear bomb works by releasing an immense amount of energy through nuclear reactions, either by fission, which is splitting atomic nuclei, or fusion, combining atomic nuclei. Here's how the two main types of nuclear bombs, fission bombs and fusion bombs, operate. Fission bombs, also known as atomic bombs. Fission bombs, such as those dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, rely on nuclear fission. In this process, the nucleus of a heavy atom, usually uranium-235 or plutonium-239, is split into two smaller nuclei when bombarded by a neutron. This splitting releases a significant amount of energy along with more neutrons, which can go on to split other nearby atoms. This leads to a chain reaction. Here's the basic mechanism, fissile material. The core of the bomb consists of fissile material like uranium-235 or plutonium-239. These isotopes are prone to fission when struck by neutrons. Initiation. A neutron source introduces free neutrons into the fissile material to start the chain reaction. Critical mass. To sustain the chain reaction, the bomb must have a critical mass of fissile material, enough material so that the emitted neutrons can continue splitting more nuclei. This critical mass is achieved by compressing the material through explosives or by carefully designing the bomb to bring subcritical masses together. Explosion. As the chain reaction progresses, vast amounts of energy are released in the form of heat, light and radiation. In an incredibly short time, just microseconds, the reaction releases enough energy to create a powerful explosion accompanied by a massive shockwave, intense heat and radiation. Fusion bombs, also known as thermonuclear bombs or hydrogen bombs, use a combination of fission and fusion to produce much larger explosions than fission bombs. In a fusion bomb, nuclear fusion occurs when the nuclei of light atoms, usually isotopes of hydrogen like deuterium and tritium, combine under extreme pressure and temperature to form heavier nuclei, releasing enormous amounts of energy. The steps in a fusion bomb are primary fission stage, the bomb typically starts with a fission bomb, similar to the atomic bomb, to create the intense heat and pressure needed for fusion. This is the primary stage. Secondary fusion stage. The energy from the fission explosion compresses and heats a secondary stage containing fusion fuel, often a combination of deuterium and tritium. Under these extreme conditions, the hydrogen isotopes fuse, producing helium and neutrons and releasing even more energy boosted fission, some designs use a small amount of fusion material within the fission bomb itself to increase the efficiency of the fission reaction, making the bomb more powerful. Teller Ulam Design Most modern fusion bombs use a design called the Teller Ulam configuration, which separates the fission primary and the fusion secondary stages. Radiation pressure from the fission explosion compresses the fusion fuel, triggering the fusion reaction. Key concepts in nuclear bombs. Critical mass. The minimum amount of fissile material needed to maintain a nuclear chain reaction. Chain reaction. A self-sustaining sequence where each fission event causes further fission events. Blast and thermal energy. The explosion releases enormous energy, producing a powerful shockwave and heat that causes destruction. Radiation. Both types of nuclear bombs emit dangerous radiation, ionizing radiation, in the form of gamma rays and neutrons. Fallout fission bombs produce radioactive fallout, material made radioactive by the explosion, which can have long-term environmental and health effects. Effects of a nuclear bomb blast wave. The explosion generates an enormous shock wave capable of leveling buildings and causing massive destruction. Heat, intense heat radiates outward, causing fires and severe burns to living beings even at great distances. Radiation, immediate radiation is released, followed by long-term radioactive fallout. This can cause radiation sickness, cancer and genetic mutations. Electromagnetic pulse or EMP. A nuclear detonation, particularly at high altitudes, can create a strong EMP that can damage or disable electronic equipment over large areas. In short, a nuclear bomb works by either or combining light atomic nuclei, fusion, both of which release extraordinary amounts of energy due to the conversion of a small amount of mass into energy, as described by Einstein's equation, E equals max E squared.